Hello guys, welcome to Beyond the Realms, and today I'm going to be reviewing American Reunion, which, okay, I'm way late on this, I realize that. Um, we just picked this up on Blu-ray today, and uh, you know, I've always wanted to watch this because I've always been a you know a huge fan of this series, especially the first two, well, I guess, I, you know, I could say the first three, really, all the way up to American Wedding. Um, so I was really anxious to check this out, and um, you know, after watching it, guys, I, you know, I'm just I, I loved it. I had a really good time with this film. Um, you know, basically, it's it's the entire original cast getting back together and going to their high school reunion. You know, and it shows them, <clears throat> you know, all in their, I guess you'd say, early 30s now, um, because this it's kind of strange how this comes about because you know they're they're the class of 1999 so it's like their 13 year reunion which doesn't really make much sense that it would be 13 years you know usually it's in five year increments or whatever but <clears throat> but regardless they get back together to have their high school re high school reunion and um you know it, it basically picks up where they left off with american wedding you know, as far as like where their life is well, some of them, I guess you would say. Um, what's his name? Uh, Kevin, I guess that's his name. He, he's became like a big uh, sportscaster, and he's went on to do um, like kind of like Dancing with the Stars type stuff. And, uh, you know, each one of them's doing their own thing. Like Finch, he's traveling the world. You know, Stifler is still Stifler. And, <laughs> you know, each one of them's just, you know, I guess kind of finding their own way in life, but um, they all get back together, and basically they they don't want Stifler to be a part of it because Stifler just you know brings all kinds of craziness that they don't want involved, and uh, you know Stifler stumbles upon them once they get back together, and he's he's kind of offended <laughs> that they don't want him to be a part of it, but you know in, in typical Stifler fashion, you know he just goes along with it and has a good time and uh but yeah guys I, I had a lot of fun with this film um I thought it was hilarious like especially when it first starts off you know just the way it starts off is just it, it's great it's fantastic and like really the whole first half of this film is really funny like I thought it played up you know especially like the first two films really well I thought it went really well with them. I mean, it's it's definitely on par with those earlier films. Now, when it got to the second half of the film, it's kind of odd because, you know, as me and Selena were sitting here watching it, we both were thinking like, damn, it, did it just really take like a dramatic turn? Because it, it kind of like... Now, granted, I, I have to also say right now that we did watch the unrated cut. I, I don't know how the theatrical version was, how it compares to that, but this was the unrated cut that we watched on this. And, um, you know, in the second half, it really did take more of a dramatic turn. It's not, it, it kind of loses its comedy element there for a while. And it kind of gets, well, like when they actually get to their reunion, it kind of gets a lot more serious and more, you know, like, paying homage to the past and like you know more sentimental type I guess you would say type film and um, I mean not that that's a bad thing but you know the first half of the film was pretty damn funny and then it just kind of really t takes a serious turn which you know I guess you know some of the original films did that also but it just seemed more so in this like it took even more of a serious tone and there's still funny things that pop up, but it just got so serious it it kind of lost me a little bit in the second half, which was kind of disappointing because the first half started off just excellent. Like I, I just, you know, it was just one thing after another was happening. I was like, damn man, you know, this this is just really hitting all in the right spots, you know. And um, you know, I I I, I think uh, what's his name, Jim, Eugene Levy, you know, Jim's dad, he. He had a much more significant part in this than he did in the first three films. And I think that probably comes from him being, you know, the one consistent figure throughout the entire series. Like, you know, I only watched the first three. Like, Band Camp was another one that came along, and there was another one. I think this is, ends up being, like, the sixth one. I'm not exactly sure, but 
I, I'm pretty sure he was the only consistent character through all of them. So in this one, you know, they gave him his just due and gave him a little bit more of a significant part. Um, you know, a little spoiler warning here for those who haven't seen it. Like, you know, his wife, which is Jim's mom, has passed away by the start of this film. So, you know, I, I, I don't know for sure, but I, I, I'm guessing that they had that happen so that way, you know, he could hook up with Stifler's mom in this. So, you know, he has a much more prominent role where Jim's trying to get him hooked up with somebody. He's trying to get him into, you know, like a singles, you know, online dating thing. And then he ends up hooking up with Siffler's mom. It's it's some funny stuff. It's really good stuff. But um, overall, guys, I was really impressed with this film. I really liked it. Um, you know, if I try to think of comedies from this year, this is probably my favorite that I've seen, at least. You know, there's many that I haven't seen, but... Out of what I've seen, this is probably my favorite comedy this year. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I would give this, not thinking of it beforehand, um, I would say a 7 out of 10. You know, it's an enjoyable film. Like I said, that original trilogy that has all this original cast in it, I think it, it holds up exceptionally well with those three films. They did it very well. Um... You know, everybody came back, and, it, and it's just, it works out well. You know, it's kind of weird seeing everybody, how they're older now. You know, like, w one of the things Selena and I were talking about is how, you know, when you watch the first, you know, especially the first two films, everybody looks the same age, even though, you know, we looked up some of their ages on IMDb, and some of them are, are you know, five, six years difference. But, you know, in those first couple of films, they really look the same age. And in this, you know, you can kind of tell that some of them are definitely older. Like Al Allison, I think, her, I believe her name is Allison. Yeah, Allison Hannigan, um, that plays Jim's wife. You know, the flute girl. <laughs> um, she looks pretty much significantly older in this. Like, there, there's, you know, there's, there's moments in this film where we're like, wow, you know, she hasn't aged too well. <laughs> You know, which I guess is the case with anybody. You know, you haven't really seen in a long time. <laughs> so you, you, you can tell that they've aged. And, you know, it's kind of cool, though. You know, it, it's just, you know, there is a nostalgia, you know, type deal with this movie. Um, but I, I still think that it's just a good, genuine, you know, enjoyable comedy that's that's fun it's a good time you know if you know and if you enjoy the original three american pie films i think you're going to enjoy this i mean i can't see how you could really be disappointed in this because you're not supposed to take this serious it's not you know you don't think too deep on stuff like this you know you just go into it you have a good time you know it, it's just about having fun it's about sex it's just it's Everything you would expect out of an American Pie film with American Reunion. So, yeah, guys, I give it a 7 out of 10. Um, as far as the Blu-ray quality on this, it looked pretty damn good, I thought. Um, not too bad at all, you know. Um, nothing special, no reference quality material. So, you know, I, I would give it probably, probably about the same thing, about a 7 out of 10 as far as the picture quality goes. Um, you know, I did not get to check out any of the extras yet. Uh, it looks like there's some pretty cool stuff on here. Extended scenes, the best of Biggs, hanging with Jason Biggs, um, Lake and Bake, Dancing with the Oz. There's all kinds of extra stuff, you know, American Union Yearbook. So I'm going to check that stuff out. But, you know, as far as the extras goes, I can't really rate this because, you know, we just watched the film and I figure, man, you know, I want to go ahead and do a review of this now. I'm having a good time. I'm in a good mood. This is fun. So let's do a review now. Um, so, yeah, guys, like I said, you know, th this. You know, it's probably not going to win over any new fans like, you know, some of the new generation kids that didn't grow up with this stuff, which is kind of hard to believe. I just can't believe it's 13 years since the first film. Like, kids nowadays may not really get this. I don't know. Maybe. But, you know, people that grew up with these films and really liked these films, I didn't really grow up with them. You know, I was an adult when they came out, but I still kind of feel like I did grow up with them in a way. But, uh... Just basically, people that like the American Pie films are going to like American Reunion. Um, I highly recommend it for fans of the series, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate you watching. I'm Jason. Have a good one.